Hello everyone, I am the Banyan Man and welcome back to another episode of Building Tatooine in Survival Minecraft. So last episode um, we uh, did the Lars Homestead. This episode we are going to finish, finish the entire thing. Uh, we're going to finish building anyway. So I've done a couple things uh, between this and last episode. I uh, moved this forward uh, four blocks. It looks a lot better now. I also changed... Oh, can I get over there? I also changed uh, this over here. I changed the cockpit over there. I actually have a, uh, a new TIE Fire design uh, that I'll be using as well. Uh, and then uh, the rest isn't really changed. But yeah, it looks a lot better now, I think. With the different TIE design. The one I had before was kind of weird. Anyway. Um, I've also built Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter uh, at Jabba's Palace. Here it is. I actually used the Mushroom Block for the R4 droid and it actually looks pretty nice, gotta say. But yeah, I've done a build tutorial on this ship design. Uh, not this particular color scheme, but uh, this ship itself. Uh, so yeah, that. Uh, that's the second thing I've done. Oh! Oh yes, I've done some things in here. I made this I put some carpets here. Now this has the uh, trick where it's a bunch of rows and of carpets on top of each other. And mobs can pass through this. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move a bunch of um, Gamorrean guards in here, aka Pikmin. Uh, now, I do also have Jabba the Hutt. There he is. Jabba the Hutt. He, he is here. <laughs> I have some prisoners as well. Yeah, you're not escaping, my friend. So, a couple pigs, alright. And then, uh, this was actually very recent. But I have a turtle! A turtle, he, he, he got sent down here to the Rancor. He, the turtle spawned in here, by the way. So, I was like, oh, that's actually really cool. So, yeah, that. Uh, and then there's one more thing I've done. So let's go over there. And that is, I added some more stuff to the scrapyard over on the other side of the wall. Uh, another bit of a wing, some more piles of stuff, and then, uh, yeah, so it kind of adds something to the other side of this. So, that's what I've done. Uh, now, there's, uh, what, eight, six, seven things to do. We have to free the llamas, let them roam free throughout Mos Eisley. I'll do that at the very end of this episode. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, what I want to do is I want to... I've actually put them all down. So I want to have uh, three or maybe two, two, three TIE Fighters chasing a T-16 uh, Skyhopper uh, above Mos Eisley. Alright. Then I want to have the Pikmin in the palace. Uh, then I want to have a little market over at the sand crawlers from the Jawas with a bunch of moisture evaporators and, and, and droid looking things. I think they'll be really cool. Uh, I also want to have uh, generally a couple more moisture evaporators around the desert. Uh, probably a couple over there and maybe some over there. Then I want to have uh, at the Imperial Shuttle back there. I want to have uh, turn it a bit more into like an Imperial encampment. And I want to have uh, an HST over there. And then of course uh, the droid escape pod which is going to go over here. At where we are standing kind of. <laughs> and then the T-16 Skyhopper that's going to be landed over there. So uh, I think we're going to do the, the ships first. The TIE Fighters and the Skyhopper. So... Let me uh, hop into creative mode and I'll show you the designs. This will probably be the last time I'll um, be in the creative world for this project. And that's kind of crazy. <laughs> so uh, here's the type fighter. And the sky hopper. Type fighter is a very uh, simple design. Uh, it's, it's quite big compared to this version here. Uh, <laughs> But uh, the, it will work, it will work, alright, flying around in the sky, chasing that guy. Uh, we'll have three of these, and then we'll have one of these flying. Uh, and I'll, of course I'll be building one uh, landed. For that I'll have the wings up straight, probably. Or maybe up, and then kind of like an A angle. I don't know, I'll have to see, I have to. I have yet to design that, I'll do that after uh, 
after I, I stop recording this segment. Uh, I'm also um, going to design the Droid Escape pod now, so... Uh, yes, I'm gonna design those two things. And then, uh, well, you'll probably see the time lapse right now. Dream. <laughs> So with most vehicles here in this project, I think I'll do a separate like build tutorial for them. Um, especially the TIE Fighters, because I do still want to change them a bit. Um, I'll get into that later. Uh, anyway, I, uh, as you can see, I moved all the chests and stuff from over there. And I moved them in here. So when we're done, we can just take all that's valuable and um, close this off. <laughs> and if we ever need more sand and... Or uh, more it's grass and whatnot, we just go in here. I have, mo I have a lot of areas like this or around my world. So let's... Um, oh, yes, before we go. I built a landed ship. So this ship, when it lands, it folds its cannon to the back <laughs> for some reason. Uh, also, the cockpit is very interesting. Yeah, yeah, like, when you fly this, you actually sit back a lot further. It's really weird. Anyway, I like how it turned out. I like how it turned out. And uh, I built it flying over here most nicely. Um, getting chased by a couple TIE Fighters. I ultimately ended up with two. Because I felt that uh, worked better. And uh, yeah, you know, it's a nice little scene. So what I want to do is... Um, when Bedrock, I want to do like Blackstone Stairs for the cockpit. And like, uh, kind of like what I have on the back here. I think they'll look a lot better. Um, but yeah. I like how it's turned out, it's a little scene with the TIE Fighters chasing the Skyhopper. Uh, I also added some uh, crates down here. Uh, they've been looting most Eisley, they got some, some good valuable stuff. The, uh, these are supposed to be those kyber crystal containers. <laughs> and these are um, 
crates that are blue. They appear in the, on the Death Star, okay? <laughs> so they just took that with them. Um, actually, I forgot to mention some things at the beginning, but I added some more animals to the cantina. A couple cows. Bessie. Yes, and, and her, her friend Blue Bessie over there. And then I have the cantina bay and some dogs. Now I would love to um, add a strider to this place. I think he'll fit right in. Uh, so that'll be... So that we'll do that. Uh, and of course, uh, I would like to play pick step in there. That'll be the first time, first thing I'll do when I get it. And then I also added a saddle rack to the bantha over here. I removed the saddle and put it back there. Uh, it looks pretty nice. I think I also filled in the composter so that he has something to eat. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna... I already cleared that area out. Actually, we're gonna go over there, because... Uh, I'm gonna do uh, the crashed escape pod. Uh, I'm also... Removing some of these things. Oh my god. Getting close. Oh. I've added a whole bunch of moisture evaporators all over the place and um, well I did the droid escape pod uh, I have a little bit of a trail where it crashed and ultimately it landed here and it scooped up a whole bunch of sand so there's a window in the front and it has uh, engines uh, again I want to have like some campfires back here um, hidden under carpets maybe I don't know just like what I want to do over there. Uh, now we can go inside. We uh, we can sit in the cockpit. We can look out at the sand. <laughs> and then I just put a bunch of levers and buttons on the walls here. You now to spruce it up. So uh, yeah. Did I mention all the sand that it scooped up? I think I did. So uh, we have another thing we can remove of our list. All we have to do now is the Palace Pikmin and the Jawa Market. So let me uh, do the Jawa Market and then um, I'll be back with ya. The Jawa Market is built. I built here this little like mini sand crawler thing from uh, one of the Lego Battle Packs. Holding up uh, this little piece of like ship or whatever. I think it looked nice and then I added a couple pals of random stuff. And then here's some droids, an astromech, um, one of those kind of, uh, another kind of droid, uh, one of those double gong droids from the Clone Wars, and, and then uh, an armor stand. That's also a, a droid, okay? So now we're going to move some Pikmin into the palace. I prepared the route. I totally didn't uh, fail at all uh, already with it. Can you not get stuck on fucking everything? Oh god. And of course. Uh, anyway. Let's go and do that. And then we're gonna free the llamas and end the episode. Ooh.
I have added all of the uh, Gamorian guards. So we have here two pigs because uh, these are close to uh, eggs and um, pigmen are egg growth by those. Um, and then there's another one in here somewhere. Where's the other pig at? I don't know. There were two. The other one felt his death. Let's say, oh no, there he is. Alright, and then the, we have the four pigmen. Now I believe these guys can break down doors, so those doors might not last. <laughs> but they're all named Gamorian Guard, so they sh shouldn't despawn. Uh, anyway. Let's um, get ourselves a lead in the free the llamas. Believe it, Tyrone. We have finished Tatooine. You can't believe it either. Everybody's ecstatic. Uh, what nine months of work, and uh, we're finally done. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? I'm so happy I, I decided to do this. And I thank every single one of you that uh, watched this series uh, for joining in and uh, watching me build stuff in here. Uh, next up, I'm gonna do a Venator, uh, which will be uh, somewhere completely uh, not in this area. Huh? <laughs> yeah, but uh, that will not. But um, I will continue. I will come back to this place regularly, probably, for mini games. I'm gonna. I have some ideas for mini games. Hide and seek is one of them. You know, a uh, a cops and robbers kind of thing. Maybe we can have a team deathmatch and a. And I captured a flag in Mos Eisley. There's a whole bunch of uh, things we could do. And of course I could also come back later and add interiors for things I don't have interiors for. And extra rooms to the palace, you name it. We could totally do that. But, for now the series is finished. I'll do two more videos. Uh, a cinematic tour, which will just be some nice shots and some before and after pictures. Uh, and then I'll do an in-depth tour, which I'll just walk through the entire area and just uh, talk about all the things that I built. So yes, I thank you very much for watching this series, this episode, all of it. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, uh, subscribe and, le and leave a comment what your favorite thing is in this project. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.